Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and to our brand new FIFA 21 video. This is Leo here bringing you another special player review. UEFA Europa League and UEFA Champions League Road to the final cards have finally been upgraded. And I was looking at my squad, I was trying to build a team because I am trying to fit Sergio El Kun, Agüero, and Davinera, which you can go check out my incredible review, man. He is one cracking player and definitely I was able to fit him in and I'm going to show you the squad after the intro right here of Bruno Perez the best right back in the city I already said it guys and with the plus one upgrade it just makes him even better in my opinion and that's what we're going to be testing here today Roma beat Ajax, well, they didn't really beat him. They lost the second half, but uh, in the first game, it was just enough to put him through, and now they're going to be facing Manchester United, and hopefully they can beat him, and this Bruno Perez can become an 89-rated card. What a journey it has been for Bruno Perez. I believe his regular base card was 81, so GG to the people that packed him. GG to the people that got him in the party back, and if you did get him in a party back, comment down below. That is where I got him, and that's why I am going to be reviewing him today guys we're gonna be seeing if he is better than cuadrado i have played a lot of games with him 67 games is a lot usually my right back is between bruno paris and the red cancello just depending who i have on the pitch and i'm really excited to be trying out this 88 the 87 version was fantastic he is 510 high low right footed three star skill moves two star weak foot i'm gonna tell you right now the high low Work rate does not matter in my case. The 87 was able to get back. And the reason he's able to get back is because of that 97 pace, guys. 94 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. Another upgrade, and he'll probably have 96 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. That is how fast he is going to be. But regardless of that, he should feel incredibly fast on the pitch and be able to get on the defensive side of the pitch onto the shooting of 75 he does have 94 shot power 82 sh attack positioning and 82 launches i don't think i scored a goal with him i have not scored a goal with him but yeah definitely can uh he has the long shots in the shot power so if we do get a goal with him i'll probably leave the room onto the passing of 85 78 vision 90 short passing 81 a long passing i've never really had a problem with this passing i have played this card in foot champs a lot and yes guys uh never Never had a problem with it and I shouldn't have a problem with this now on to the dribbling of 90 and a reason why he feels incredible and super smooth in game is that 96 agility and 96 balance he does have 92 ball control 90 dribbling and 83 composure good stuff there I wish the reactions could be a little bit higher I was hoping he would get about 79.80, but we are on the road to that, guys. And with a W against Manchester United, that should be an 80 reactions. On to the defending of 86. 86 interceptions, 86 defensive awareness, 90 tackle, and 91 sliding tackle. Well, the one thing I like about his 87 card was that standing tackle. And now that it is in the 90s, and with the Sentinel chemistry style, it goes up to 95. It's basically maxed out. So if I press circle, he should be able to get the ball back. And lastly, the physical of 84 99 stamina should last you the whole game 79 strength 77 aggression i really haven't had a problem with that yet because his pace his agility and just his just defensive awareness as well has come through in that department and lastly the player trade speed dribbler guys i'm so excited to try out bruno da silva perez is he the best right back in the city yeah we are going to be answering that question next and i am going to be playing him in, in this crazy crazy squad yes guys um i'm trying out campbell and if i don't like do not like him i'll probably go by ferdinand i do need a double link and also i am gonna buy uh, the special hernandez but right now i don't want to spend coins guys i am trading a lot to save up for a lot of the team of the season reviews that are coming up very soon on the channel next friday but yes i was able to get mbappe Guerrero and Messi on cam. I know Messi's on 7 8 cam, but I don't really care. That's good enough for me. But it's going to be a crazy squad. And before we uh, go on to the review, I want to test out the right backs real quick. I know you only have a little bit of options on the for Serie yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yeah, you only have Bruno Perez, Cuadrado, Malcute. And probably Ansaldi. I'll throw that Ansaldi in there. So between these two, honestly, Bruno Perez is just number one in my opinion. But we're going to see if the stats hold up next. Come on. Let's go, Bruno Perez. Perfect standing tackle right there. I love that AI animation. I didn't even have to press circle. Dale, vamos, Bruno. Let's set up the pace. Good balance right there. 
And look at that pace. Look at that pace on this 88 rated UEL Bruno Perez. Let's test out the through one meta. Beautiful pass to Arturo Vidal right there. We're through on goal. Let's go. Cunagüero has heading. Ay. Vamos, Bruno Perez. Let's go. Can we get a magical goal? Se viene Bruno Perez. No, the AI blocking. Ay, ay, ay. I don't, if the AI blocking is not there, that's an automatic goal. At least you can see that dribbling of his. You see how Bruno Perez stays in position? I tell you, I'm telling you that high low for me, it is not a big problem. And if he does, if he is at a position, he's too fast to recover right there. Great coverage right there. Let's go. I'm over Bruno. Get out of here. Love it. All right, come on. Let's test out the pace. Look, he's outrunning Davis, guys. The dribbling guys, you don't even need skills. Ay. Goal, 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 goal. Cantala, cantala, cantala. I stayed quiet, guys. And Bruno Pires. Yes, the first goal. I cannot believe it. The first goal comes in his 88 review. And you love to see that. You see the dribbling right there. You don't really need to do the elasticos with them. Just do ball roll, fake shots. And his speed will come through. And we are up 2-1, guys. He tied it in the 45th minute. You already know, 45 minute cheese. Pero vamos Mbappe. Let's go. I know. Beautiful through ball, man. Ah, I do the fake shot, Mbappe. All right, come on, let's see the pace. Can he recover? Yes, he can. I'm telling you guys. Vamos. All right, come on. Look at that. He's covering the whole pitch. That is crazy, guys. I know you got the shot off, but for him to cover one side to the other in less than two minutes, two minutes FIFA time, is just ridiculous. Good. Ah, unfortunate bounce right there, but thank you, AI blocking his reactions right there, goes guys. Key. Can we make one more run? Let's go. Bruno Perez. The stamina, guys. Let's get the assist. No, he cut the game short. What are you doing, ref? But what a fantastic game, guys. What a incredible game from Bruno Perez UEL card. And I want to see the stats, guys. He's probably got man of the match, if I'm not mistaken. And, ooh, Kuna Widow edges him out by 0.2 points. But Bruno Perez, 8.8 .8 rating. And hopefully you saw what he can do. I'm only going to play one game today because it is super, super late. And I got people sleeping in the house. I don't want to wake them up. But one goal for Bruno Perez. Two out of two shots on target. Pass completed. Five out of six. Dribble completed. Six out of nine. And tackles one. One out of four. I was trying. I was testing the sliding a little bit. But he was un unable to get those. But his interceptions were fantastic. His attacking play was really good. And for more on that, let's go on to the final thoughts on this Bruno Perez incredible UEL card. So there you have it. Bruno Perez scored his first goal for Leo FC in an incredible fashion of putting us up 2-1. And that's what you love to see, guys. If you're like attacking with your fullbacks, this guy is the one to get. And definitely the best right back in the Serie A. In this review, he actually showed more offense and defense. 
But let me tell you right now, guys, having played with this 87, his defense is top notch. And obviously the top stats on this card is going to be that 97 pace, guys. The 96 agility, 96 balance, and then the 90 standing tackle. Those are my top four stats on Bruno Perez. And then the only thing that I would like to see increase is that 76 reactions. But luckily you're not playing him at center back. I would not play him there. Play him at right back. Play him at right mid. Definitely will be play 10 out of 10 in those two positions and the meta rating on this car is obviously going to be very high 9 out of 10 because of the high pace high dribbling just being just a body type as well and then i'll look at all his stats i just noticed that all the stats are in the green except for the finishing and he scored a banger against puyol and i believe team of the year Neuer, if i'm not mistaken so that just makes you an incredible fullback in my opinion and the final rating will be a 9 out of 10 what is his price range real quick I am very interested to see his price range and it is 250k at the moment and I think it is a steal guys. Definitely go pick up this card if you run a Serie A side and you will have a lot of fun on your side. But anyways, I will conclude today's review. Hopefully it helped you out in the setting. Whether you want to pick up this card or not and you enjoyed this review. Before I let you go, I just want to say thank you so much for your support on Instagram and YouTube lately. I have been killing it with the support and I love seeing that guys. Please take a second out of your day, like this video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys later on today. This is Leo. I bid you goodbye and good night.